Hello everyone, I'm Roseanne Haven along with Pete Albrecht. We continue to follow that breaking news of an apartment fire. As we understand it now, one person has been pulled from this apartment fire on Azalea. Three people are trapped. Okay, this is the Summer Place Apartments about three blocks south of Davidson High School. If you're familiar with that part of West Mobile, we have Steve Milhouse from the Mobile uh, Fire Rescue on the line with us to uh, give us the latest information. Uh, Steve, what can you tell us? Well, uh, it's a chaotic scene right now. We're doing the best that we can to extinguish the fire. A um, good portion of the building uh, has burned. Uh, mobile Fire Rescue was dispatched to the scene at about 3.11 p.m. Uh, this afternoon. And uh, Engine 19 arrived on scene to heavy black smoke billowing from the building at Summer Place Apartments. A uh, second alarm was immediately called, and then a third alarm was called at about 3.18. Um, reportedly, three people trapped. Uh, crew on engine 19 rescued one person from the building. Uh, don't have details on their condition just yet. Um, reportedly, other civilians were helping their residents and occupants and their neighbors get out of the building as well. I can't confirm that, but that's what they're saying here on scene. Um, right now, we're just doing the best that we can to try to get this fire out uh, and then overhaul and, and pick up the pieces from there. Now, we see a, a lot of white smoke coming from the fire uh, as we're taking a live look at the scene right now. Our crews have arrived. Uh, apparently, there was a, a, a difficult time reaching the scene uh, with all the traffic nearby. But can you tell us the one person who has been pulled, are they, are they okay? That we do not know. I don't have the, uh, any idea on the extent of their injuries. They were simply pulled from the building. Uh, treated immediately and uh, immediately transported uh, to a local hospital for uh, emergency care. And the three people who are reportedly trapped, tell us why it is so difficult to get to these people. Well, we don't know if there are three people or were three people trapped. Uh, the caller stated when they called 911, our dispatchers gave that information. Uh, possibly three trapped, uh, but we weren't able to confirm. Again, we're fighting the fire to try to put it out and then we'll go in and, and uh, search the the structure to make sure that no one else is inside, but we can confirm that at least one person will pull. Uh, it can be difficult uh, for you know, your children or elderly or you um, have mobility problems, or, or you just may have no idea that the fire was going on in your building. Um, you know, we can't, can't really tell right now what exactly was going on when the fire began. Uh, our investigators will figure that out as soon as uh, we're able to review the scene, but right now the, the primary issue and concern is try to save as much of this building as we can. Stephen, do you know if there was an explosion there? It seemed like there was a lot of black smoke very quickly uh, coming from this location. Any indication what may have started this? None yet. Uh, again, our investigators are on scene, but we won't be able to, to tell exactly what happened until we can review the scene and talk to witnesses and, and neighbors and, and try to piece together exactly what went on. But again, primary issue right now is putting out the fire, trying to save the building, and then we can get in and take a look. And this has been contained to this one building, a building K there. How tough was that to keep that from spreading to uh, other buildings there in this multi-building complex? Well, there's a, uh, most important buildings, including this one, has a firewall, uh, which can, uh, which, and right now it's doing a pretty good job of stopping the fire uh, from spreading to other buildings, but there's a lot of smoke damage and water damage as well. So we've got crews in every apartment. Uh, every apartment unit in this building, again, to confirm no one's inside and do the best that we can to uh, keep the fire from spreading. The person who was pulled from the building, uh, was it a man, woman, child? What can you tell us about them? You can hold on just a second. I can find out. Awesome. Yeah, it was a woman, a woman an unknown age, uh, female. Okay. All right, very good. If you would, as we're seeing these uh, firefighters there on top of this building, discuss with us if uh, the, the challenges they are facing with this particular fire. Uh, the amount of fire that it is, uh, by the time that we arrived again, there's a pretty good amount of black smoke flowing, uh, heavy flames, and it spreads quickly. Uh, with the amount of fuel inside, by fuel we mean things that can burn inside of the building, and including the building itself. Uh, the difficulty there is, you know, we're a pretty aggressive fire department and we're always on the offensive until it turns into a case where we need to pull out and go into a defensive strategy, which is where we are now on pretty much a third of the building as uh, a defensive strategy. So we'll have firefighters on top of the roof to uh, cut holes in the roof to ventilate some of this smoke and let 
the toxic gas and the heated smoke to get out of there so that we can go back in. How do you know what the integrity of the roof is like so you know that it's safe for the firefighters to be up there? Well, don't go over any parts that have burned. If it's burned through the roof, we don't want to go near there. So they're pretty far enough away from the burn portion. Uh, they're about um, a third of the building is burned. They're probably about the halfway point, cutting a hole into the roof and spraying water down um, into the floors below. But again, also allowing the uh, smoke to ventilate vertically as well as horizontally from the windows. And currently you have 14 units on the scene, is that right? That's correct. That's, that's just engines, ladder trucks, and rescue trucks. That doesn't include command staff, uh, other staff personnel, and uh, private ambulance that were here as well. Okay, and we understand. Have you blocked off any of the streets in that area in terms of? Uh, uh, have you blocked off any of the streets in that area in terms of correct. visibility with correct. the smoke correct. and that kind of thing? Just correct. Very narrow lanes here. Not a lot of area space for uh, companies and traffic. Um, so it's best that everyone just basically stay away from the area as best they can. Um, if you live here, we're going to do the best that we can to put this out and clear the scene as quickly as possible so that you can check on your loved ones. It looks as we're watching this that the uh, plume of or the billowing white smoke is increasing. Well, like I said, they cut a hole in the building, in the roof, so uh -huh. that the smoke can ventilate vertically. So that's what's going on right now. Okay. All right, Stephen Milhouse, thank you so much with Mobile Fire Rescue giving us the latest information about this fire off of Azalea Road in uh, West Mobile at the Summer Place Apartments. Uh, being reported that one woman has been pulled from that fire and has gone to the hospital. Right.